Thank you. Thank you, Gina. That was amazing. Uh, it's an honor to give this award. Bingham was a great filmmaker. Um, he was a great studio head. He was an early mentor and a really good friend to me. I was on the phone call when they decided to rename this award after Bingham, and I'm so glad that still 10 years after his death, we're remembering Bingham. So thank you, Bingham, for all you've done for this community. So about 25 years ago, Bingham Ray passed on Pi, and I received this Breakthrough Director Award. Uh, and we've heard the word breakthrough several times tonight. If you look up that word, you find it associated with the idea of an obstacle or barrier. One breaks through resistance. We all know there are countless obstacles to making a first feature film, particularly ones that take bold creative risks. The directors we are honoring tonight have each fought to bring a distinctive vision to the screen. They preserved against inertia, against the pull toward the familiar. And for that, we celebrate them. And the 2022 Bingham Ray Breakthrough Director Award goes to Charlotte Wells for After Sight. producer just looked at that clip and said, tough category. <laughs> and I said, who would you give it to? And she definitely hesitated. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> uh, this is the first award event that I've been to. Um, <laughs> I actually crushed this last year, so I guess that's a lie. The first award event with a film. And um, yeah, I was a lot more relaxed last year than I was this year. Um, but in awe of the room, uh, just the same. Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, what was I gonna say? I'm sure I had this figured out. Uh, thank you was probably the place to start. Um, I didn't get here alone, and um, there are lots of people responsible for standing here. And actually, the Bingham Murray Award, a lot of people reached out when the awards were announced to share their memories of him. Um, so it's an especial, especially special award to receive. Um, thank you to BBC Films, to BFI, to Screen Scotland, to the wonderful Tango um, for financing the film. Thank you to Film, to, uh, oh my God, to A24 um, for being true partners and bringing the film to audiences. Uh, it's, um, it's especially cool that this first is in New York because I, I live in New York, this is home now. I guess I get to call myself a New Yorker like Michelle Williams, maybe. Um, I hope I do. Uh, and on the way here, I was fidgeting with my phone and I, um, I was reminded of the day that I left for Turkey to shoot this film. I spent the day at Coney Island and I visited Zoltar of, um, of big fame and I got this fortune. This is what it said. A ship in the harbor is safe, but that is not what ships are built for. Take risks and venture out of your comfort zone. If you don't move beyond where you are today, you will never have more or be more. There is a trip that you've been thinking of taking. Go. And then there's some weird stuff about networking that I'll skip. Um, you can't take risks without a tremendous amount of support, and I had that support. I had it from my producers, Amy Jackson, Adela Romanski, Barry Jenkins, and Mark Sariak. Uh, without whom I absolutely could not be here. From my beautiful cast, Paul Meskel and Frankie Corio. Um, and a special shout out to Celia Rolson Hall, who plays Frankie's older self in the film. We don't get to be in the same place very often. And her um, extraordinary talent and talent for movement and dance is what made the final sequence of the film work and allowed me to reach the emotional heights and depths that I always hoped to. Um, Final shout out to all the fellow nominees. It's like an amazing peer group to be a part of. If you're looking for a producer, there's one at table 63. <laughs> and, um, and I hope that we see each other on note for this film the next. Uh, one final thank you to Peter Newman, who's at the table behind us. Peter is the reason that I got into film school and I wouldn't be here without him, so thank you. <laughs> 